What a great story. Let me tell it to you again. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region there, excuse me, uh, can we help you? No, don't worry about it. <laughs> Just keep on doing what you're doing. By the way, what are you doing? We're worshiping. It's Christmas Eve. Hey, who are you? My name's Caleb. I run it in in, Jer in Bethlehem, just on the other side. This is Jerusalem, isn't it? I uh, know. This is Atlanta. Atlanta? Never heard of it. <laughs> of course, then I only go, I don't get north of Jerusalem too much. What are you doing? I'm here in town to get supplies. We're overbooked. This census thing, it's got coming to town every Tom, Dick, and Zechariah. <laughs> There's a sign above my inn, no vacancy. Money's pouring in. I'm loving it. Did you happen to notice the other sign above your inn? It's a star. A star? <laughs> Never paid attention to them. There's too many of them up there. By the way, you see that full moon? What do you mean? All the crazies are out tonight. <laughs> Some guy came by and asked if we had a plasma television in my bar. And when I said to him that I have no earthly idea what he was talking about, he just smiled and walked away. <laughs> Some lady came by, wanted to know if she could log on. And I said, honey, the fire is as big as it's going to get. We don't need no more wood. <laughs> Goofy stuff like that. But the goofiest was this couple. She's expected a baby after here. Baby due any minute. Hmm. What's so goofy about that? Nothing. Except, except she kept calling him Jesus. Said he was Messiah. And that's nuts. Why? Look. I run a good inn. I got a good clientele. I got a good reputation. But trust me, you will never mistake my inn for the Hilton. We got no pool. We got no banquet facilities. We got no spa. We're not even on the main drag. Why in the world would Messiah want to be born in my place? Well, maybe that's just it. What? Well, think about it. If your place is good enough for him, maybe ours is good enough. Maybe he was born in your end so that the world could see that there is no place too humble, no person too simple, that he won't come there too. Wow. <laughs> I never thought of that before. Hey, you know an awful lot about this guy. What's he to you? He's our Messiah. He's our Savior. And we believe that he was born in your inn. We believe that he came to earth to build God's kingdom. And we've been worshiping him ever since. So you think he's the real deal. You better watch yourselves. There's a lot of fakes out there. How can, uh, 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 how can you be sure? Well, he sure has changed a lot of lives. And people who spend time with them, they have a whole new way of living. And he's healed people, some in miraculous ways. He helps people to be more forgiving, more loving, more accepting, 
And maybe that's the greatest miracle of all. Hey, where are you going? Uh, back home. Uh, I gotta check this out. Hey, uh, all our rooms were full. Okay. The only thing we had, the only thing we had left was a manger. Caleb, it's okay. It's Christmas. And the real meaning of Christmas is that God gives us everything he has. If you're right, I gotta go. Huh. To think, I was too busy running it in, making money. If it is him, I almost missed him. Even in my own place. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah. If he is the Messiah, is there room for him in your manger, in your home, in your heart? Maybe Caleb is right. Maybe we're supposed to go check it out because the Messiah's birth would be a terrible thing to miss. Merry Christmas. <laughs>